Welcome to this introductory video featuring the Stratix 5200 series of switches. In this video, we'll discuss what is the same between the Stratix 5200 series and the Stratix 5700 series along with some key differences. Stratix 5200 series switches can be ordered with 6, 10, or 20 total interfaces, with two SFP interfaces for the 6 interface model or two SFP RJ45 combo ports on the other models. The switches can be ordered with either fast Ethernet or Gigabit Ethernet RJ45 interfaces. There are 9 catalog numbers in the Stratix 5200 series as opposed to the 25 catalog numbers available in the Stratix 5700 series. This makes it much easier to determine the correct catalog number to suit a project's specific needs. The switches are Layer 2 only, but they do support basic routing functionality such as static routes and inter-VLAN routing. They can be ordered with either base or full firmware and can include options like device level ring, DLR, and network address translation, NAT, depending upon firmware version and part number. The Stratix 5200 software feature set can include everything found in the Stratix 5700 family with the addition of the iOS XE operating system, Web UI, and Parallel Redundancy Protocol, PRP. Please note that certain features including NAT, DLR, and PRP are not available in all formats and firmware levels. This image shows the nine catalog numbers and a brief feature rundown for each model. As can be seen from a feature perspective, the Stratix 5200 series switches can offer the same and more capability than the Stratix 5700 series, but how do they compare physically? The Stratix 5200 series of switches was designed to fit into the same overall physical footprint including space requirements for heat dissipation as the Stratix 5700. With that said, let's review some highlights of the switch specifications. This image shows how the Stratix 5200 series of switches compares to the Stratix 5700 series. When comparing Stratix 5700 switches to the recommended Stratix 5200 conversion switch, it is easy to see how the new switches will fit within an existing space occupied by a Stratix 5700. In all cases, the recommended Stratix 5200 is very close to the Stratix 5700 dimensions and often smaller. The next section will review differences in the SD cards that each series of switches use. The Stratix 5700 uses a 1 GB card. With the Stratix 5200 series switches, an 8 GB SD card, part number 1784-SDHC8, is recommended due to the increased file sizes required by the iOS XE firmware. We'll discuss the differences between iOS Classic and iOS XE a little later in this video. It is important to understand that while the SD card from a Stratix 5700 can be physically installed into a Stratix 5200, the configuration files are not compatible. In order to move configuration from a Stratix 5700 series switch to a Stratix 5200 series switch, Please see Migration Guidelines, Stratix 5700 Switch to Stratix 5200 Switch for more details. Another difference between the two Switch families is the operating system. The Stratix 5700 uses iOS Classic and the Stratix 5200 uses iOS XE. iOS XE offers some advantages in that there will be a single unified operating system for both the Stratix 5800 series and Stratix 5200 series switches and an improved user experience when using the web-based configuration tools. Web-based configuration for the Stratix 5700 series uses Device Manager, while the Stratix 5200 series uses Web UI, the same configuration method as the Stratix 5800 series switches. Web UI offers a faster experience than Device Manager. Web UI also provides some improved diagnostic tools, including logging, core dump and system report, a debug bundle, and ping and traceroute. The log function can be used to download a partial or full syslog or to configure syslog servers. Core dump and system report can be used to analyze system crashes. A debug bundle can be created and sent to tech support for troubleshooting and can include specific CLI command output. Ping and traceroute can be used to verify network connectivity. Web UI also allows the user to use command line interface commands directly from the Web UI session and without the need to open another program to connect to the switch. The save process is also different between Device Manager and Web UI. In Web UI, changes are not automatically saved, the save process is manual. After changes are made, the save button must be pressed in order for the changes to be saved. This provides another chance to review the changes made before committing them. 
Changes can be reviewed and, if needed, backed out of before being committed to the startup configuration. The changes are live, but in the event of losing access to the switch, would not be persistent after a reboot. Thank you for watching this brief video discussing similarities and differences between the Stratix 5200 and Stratix 5700 series switches.